Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Ali Raza. Today I am going to tell you about software deployment. That is uh, the deployment of the software on multiple PCs but uh, with a single database that is residing at the server. So uh, hopefully you have tried my playlists uh, regarding inventory management system or school management system or restaurant management system or uh, clinic management system or bill management system whatever software you have created with me uh, on YouTube now let it, uh, it's time to deploy that software for uh, on multiple PCs uh, but with a single database on the server so let's start and have a look what we have today so the first thing you might have observed when creating my software is, is that this is the settings window and inside this settings window you are giving the server name uh, that is the name of your SQL server uh, or the instance name uh, via which you are connecting to your SQL server and then the database name and then when you are logging in with SQL server authentication you use uh, the user ID and the password okay similarly uh, this server name can be the IP address of your PC so when we are talking about the uh, multiple uh, PC installation so what you do select the first base PC where your database is uh, is created or stored okay let's say uh, PCA is your uh, main PC where you can you are storing your database as well where your SQL server is basically uh, residing okay or installed so give the IP address of that um, uh, PC where your SQL server is simple as that okay make sure that IP address is not dynamic it should be uh, fixed or static so that it cannot change every time okay one thing uh, so on the first PC where your SQL server is you install that software with the IP address and on the second PC let's say PCB on that PCB install uh, give the IP address of the first PC in the server text box I hope it is clear to everyone and rest of the things remains the same okay so uh, on every individual PC you have to give the IP address of the first PC uh, where your database is installed and resided or uh, you say the file of the database is uh, at that which PC so you specify your PCA IP address I hope it is clear to everyone now the next step is when you do something like this the firewall comes in between so when you try to uh, log in from your another PC that does not have SQL server then the firewall will not allow you to uh, access your SQL server so in order to add exception into firewall you have to configure these steps so these are the steps what you have to do you have to open the uh, the first step is to go on the run and type w the reason I have written these commands here so that you can be able to uh, read it uh, at, by pausing this video and then uh, follow these steps step uh, one by one okay so let me show you how can you do this uh, with the help of uh, these commands All right so you have to write here in, in inside run that wf.msc that's the firewall client window okay and you can see a window is opened and here you can see there are so many things but you have to go inside inbound rules if you follow these things these steps okay inside inbound rules you have uh, to create a new rule to allow uh, the SQL server so click on the new rule now you can allow a program with respect to the uh, physical location or you can go by specifying the port or you can define uh, in any other way or, or you can create a custom rule so we are going to use the program option okay you can see in this rule dialog box select program so I have selected the program and then click next and here you have to specify the path and you can see the default path of the SQL server is this if you do not have this then simply check where what what's your SQL server installation path is so let's go to this so SQL server so in, in C drive in program files in uh, Microsoft SQL server so that's my place and where I wanted to go inside my SQL server 13 and then uh, MS SQL 12 and then you can see you have the bin folder inside this bin folder you have SQL server.exe so SQL server.exe is this and then select this so you have given access to this and then click on the next button and you can see what what should be uh, done so allow the connection allow the connection if it is secure if you if you think or block this connection so I wanted to allow this connection when somebody try to access your SQL server via a different PC uh, with respect to your software or via your software then uh, this rule will uh, run you can see uh, uh, on domain uh, on firewall that is working on domain uh, the, that the firewall that is working at in private or the public firewall every exception I have added here and then click next and then the name of the rule let's say 
my db rule or whatever you can specify here and then whatever the optional description and then click finish so what will happen when somebody tries to access um, this pc uh, from another pc with the help of your software uh, regarding database let's say somebody uh, on pc uh, number or uh, pc number 2 uh, tries to access uh, pc number 1 with the help of your software or tries to log in from your software or via your software uh, then the database will be accessed uh, with the help of the connection string that you have entered and inside that connection string you you have provided already the ip address of the first pc where your database is so what will happen ultimately the connection will uh, get success and you will successfully get login to your to uh, on the second pc that is your pc number 2 so i hope that if you do something like so this is this this step that i have demonstrated you just right now you have to run it on the main pc you don't you, you, you this should not be applied on every uh, uh, single pc this step should be done on one pc where your database is that's it if you have the firewall issue or uh, if you're uh, if you have installed your software what do you have to do you simply install your software on every individual pc and then enter the connection string uh, with uh, the server ip address that is the main pc ip address uh, on every different pc and then uh, try to log in uh, on different pcs so what will happen with the help of this rule if the firewall is enabled then you will successfully access your database from your uh, first pc that becomes your server so i hope you have understood how you connect uh, your uh, multiple pcs uh, with a single application on a single database so uh, that's all for today if you do not understand anything please do write me thank you so much take care allah hafiz